Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I wanna talk about the data center build that I'm planning to build very soon and just talk a little bit about it. So as you can see here, we have a couple of racks here. We have some older servers here. We have some old Cisco Unify, uh, more Unify switches here. And then we also have <laughs> some really, really old Unify. I don't even know what this is, but um, this is gonna be a really fun build for you guys. Um, I wanna get more into the technical side and talk more about the layer one aspect of networking because this is why I love this field. It makes it more AI proof, the fact that we have this hardware aspect of it. And I talk about this all the time, how networking can really be a field that is a field that can will beat the time of AI, in my opinion. So, um, and we have a whole bunch of, let me show you what we have here, guys. Like we have a whole bunch of devices here, as you can see. Um, let me move it down a little bit. So basically these are all the switches we have here. We have a, like probably like 10 Cisco 3650 switches here. So like I said, I don't have the expensive gear. I'm not balling. I don't, I don't have like 50K to spend on equipment. But, um, but yeah, so this is the aspect here. Um, and then we have a whole bunch of like laptops here and stuff like that, but um, we'll get into that soon. Um, but look at this little retro Cisco um, device here. So let me show you, this is pretty cool, but um, it's a really old Cisco switch, as you can see. And how many ports are on there? Quick test guys, quick test, how many? 48 or 24, I want you guys to tell me. But today's gonna be like a kind of like a quick vlog and just talk about kind of like the whole process of what I'm trying to do and also why I love the aspect of the hardware aspect of networking, which is um, kind of why I got into this field. So let's go ahead and have a quick chat real quick. So um, first of all, like, where am I? So right now I'm in one of my friend's uh, warehouses and he has a data center and I want to do a full data center build, but also talk about the layer one aspect of networking, right? So kind of what I want to get into today is why I believe networking is one of the better fields in tech right now. So and I talk about this all the time and people say, oh, networking is one of the best fields. We know this, Wally, we know this, we know this. I wanna get into networking. The easiest way to get into networking is to do it, not learn it, okay? For example, all this stuff here, I've always worked remote as a network engineer myself. I've never actually worked at a physical data center. I never worked, uh, you know, I've, I've gone to the office, but I never had to actually touch the physical like equipment as a network engineer. And the thing with that guys is, I, I miss that part because obviously as a network engineer, I can VPN connect into like these, like as a network engineer guys, I actually connect into these devices here. Like I actually connect into them remotely. So I can be at home lounging around, working from home and actually connect into that device, which is nice to do, but I wanna be next to them, right? And that's kind of what I'm gonna be doing right now. So what I wanna ask you guys real quick is um, as a network engineer, what do we do um, in terms of layer one side? So layer one of networking, there's these physical devices, we have racks, and then, and then we have these like little slots that we pretty much bolt them in, and then we add these little devices on them, right? Routers, switches, servers, um, all these cool stuff, firewalls as well. And then we connect them either with SFPs, and we have a lot of SFPs, and I wanna show you the SFPs in a bit. But uh, basically the whole point of this is just to show you what's happening behind the scenes when you're watching this YouTube video. Right now, there's a, we're making a YouTube video right now. This YouTube video is being stored somewhere. Like, where is it being stored? I wanna show you guys right now, actually. Like, I wanna show you how cool this is. You're watching this YouTube video, it's stored somewhere in multiple data centers all over the world uh, in one of Google's data centers, right? And one of Google's data centers is gonna have one of these, as you can see here, let me pull this thing out if you don't believe me. So let me do this real quick. So if I go here and I pull like one of these little cards out, obviously there's nothing in here, but basically this is a Dell hard drive, I believe. If I'm wrong, let me know guys, but basically these are content storage systems. Obviously this is super old with a DVD player, I get it, but essentially this is where all the cards are stored. And this is like the little piece of it and I can just in insert it here. But what I'm trying to say is you're watching this video because of this. And the f <laughs> it's so remarkable how cool this is and why I believe this is an amazing field to be in. Um, and I wanna talk more about this real quick actually. And by the way, here's the warehouse, super huge. But um, let's go into the cool parts that I wanna talk about. So this is a, let me pull this out here. That thing is stuck. Let me pull out, okay, anyways, let me just show you this real quick then. This is what is known as a small form pluggable, also known as an SFP. 
And if we look at the branding here, we can probably see what type of how fast of this is. But basically, this is a fiber cable that directly connects into this. Because here's the thing, fiber optical cables, like fiber optical cables are lasers. And lasers are super hot and you're gonna burn off the port. So what that um, device, what that little small form pluggable is gonna do is it's, it's, a, it's a essentially going to, how do I say this? Tr turn the light waves and transmitting it into data in a sense, right? And these devices are expensive. These can cost upwards of over a thousand to tens of thousands of dollars. And yes, that little device is over $10,000 because they're on 24 seven, they're super expensive. And they break though, that's the thing as well. As a network engineer, I can't tell you how many times that device has broke on me and it is not fun, but it is what it is, right? So one big thing I also wanna mention is the fact that once you actually have this here and everything set up, it's a remarkable thing, right? And I wanna go back into here real quick. So let's go and move myself here. But I wanna just show you here uh, we have a whole bunch of devices and servers and whatever, but I want to talk about this port as well. So this is a console port. I don't know if you can see that right there. A console port, it's a very unique port part of this switch. And essentially what's happening, and I'll talk about some of these other ports as well. This is, like I said, this is an old Unify switch. And as network engineers, as network engineers, the world does not revolve around Cisco. Like we have other switches. We have Unify here. We have Ubiquiti here. We have Ruckus some ruckus switches here, like there's other Juniper, like there's other brands of switches, right? But what I'm trying to say is that little console port right here, the whole point of it is so we can connect in to the CLI. So let's say you turn on the switch, it's brand new. All these ports here, these ethernet ports that you see, ethernet one, two, three, four, five, you can't connect into them. You have to connect into the console so you can boot it up and get it ready to go and get it moving, right? That's the whole point of that little device there. And um, you can connect to the CLI, you can do your thing, you can config, whatever you need to do. And that's kind of why I love networking in terms of that aspect is, it's fun the fact that we're actually touching physical equipment. Like, sorry if I'm like, kind of like a little bit too uh, like zealous, or is that a word? I don't even know, I'm just so hyped up because this, this is so cool to me. And um, basically that console port is, that's the whole reason we have that console port. But enough of yapping today. I want to talk about, um, oh my God, I'm just looking at some, really cool devices here actually. This is a, I want to just, I actually want to talk about this also, but it's back very soon, but this is a Mac mini, as you can see. This Mac mini has a, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully has a, uh, an ethernet port, as you can see right there. So that ethernet port was one of the greatest inventions that ever has ever happened in terms of the world of communication. That ethernet port gave us the ability to transmit data at a very high rate. Because here's the thing, like you have telephones. Telephones can, at the end of the day, a phone call, a video call, that's all data. Playing video games online, that's just data transmitting. But when it comes to these, this sort of equipment, it's like how fast is the data being transmitted? And the faster the data being transmitted, the, the better quality of content we can view online. I remember back when I was watching YouTube videos, back in like 2010, there wasn't 4K content. Right now I'm recording in 4K. You're gonna watch this video in 4K. And the reason you can watch this video in 4K, the main reason you can watch this video in 4K is because of high-speed internet, ethernet cable, SFP, uh, single mode fiber, all, all like, this is the reason why. And obviously things have gotten better. We don't really need to use ethernet cables anymore. Uh, when it comes to, um, you know, end endpoint devices like these, or endpoint devices like, if you're a Windows guy, like this little cool ThinkPad here. But all I'm trying to say is, obviously we have, we have access points when it comes to that. But when it comes to network engineering, it's more, you guys are doing more than you guys think. You're providing a lot of value to the world. And I want you guys to understand what you guys are doing. You guys are, we're, we're doing a lot and I'm just excited to be here. Excited to play around with these devices and just show you guys what's possible. So um, that's kind of what I'll be talking about. I don't know how big we could build it. Um, it is gonna be a bit tough because we have older equipment, but I just wanna play around with it, see what's possible. You know, maybe do some configurations. Obviously, um, I'm in a different city. I'm not in my hometown, so I may have to fly out here a couple of times just to make the content. But um, this is kind of gonna be a cool little fun thing to do. Because obviously at work, you can't really do this. 
Um, but uh, this is gonna be interesting. So um, in the comment section below, if you guys are, you know, if you find this video cool or not, let me know. And uh, one thing I also wanna mention, what do I wanna, I was gonna mention one more thing. Thank you guys so much for, um, for all the support. I just recorded my 100th YouTube video. This may be my 108th, whatever, because I have like a backlog of videos. But I just want to say thank you guys so much, like from the bottom of my heart, for watching this channel. I started this channel over a year and a half ago, and it's been just pulling ever since. And I want to say thank you so much. And if you guys are interested and want to become network engineers, go ahead and click the link in my description. I have a program that pretty much teaches people how to become a network engineer from zero experience to running a job as a network engineer. But with that being said, everyone, I appreciate your guys' time. I hope you guys all have a good rest of your day and peace.